right guys, let me show you how you make it. You're gonna need yourself a large carrot, some small carrots, or if you don't have some small carrots, you can use a piece of the big carrot and shave it down. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You're gonna need a Zacto knife, something to cut the carrot, and then some drill bits. All you need is one that's medium and one that's small. You're gonna make a hole in the back and then you're gonna drill some holes on top. Let me show you exactly how it's done. To start off with what you're gonna do is cut your carrot flat on one end and then you're gonna drill a hole down the center of this carrot. Now what I'm gonna do is use a bit that is about half the width of this carrot right here. So this happens to be a half inch bit and it's about a one inch or so carrot. What you're gonna do is very carefully drill in the center of that and you're gonna drill yourself a hole right down the center to about probably here, just the thick part of the carrot. This part's really not needed. I would suggest wearing gloves and be safe when making these toys. Now that you have a hole going up the center of the carrot, you're gonna fashion an opening at the top where the air is gonna flow out to create the whistle. So let's do that next. So what you're gonna do is cut into the carrot about one half inch to an inch in from the end. You're gonna saw down, but you're only gonna go down the depth to where your blade starts to crack into this opening, so go down to where it's going into it, maybe an eighth of an inch or so, that's it. So in this case, maybe one third depth of the actual carrot. So let's go back here and give that a shot. What I'm gonna do is look inside the hole right here, and once I see a bit of my blade right there, I see that, I'm gonna stop right there. You're gonna come back a couple inches and cut in on an angle from the surface of the carrot down to that point that was the depth that you made that cut previous. So you're gonna go like this. We'll start about right here, an inch or so back. I'm gonna go in on an angle and very delicately go in and chop off this little piece right here, right there. And what it does is it leaves this opening, which is half of your whistle. Next, what you're gonna do is get a baby carrot and you're gonna find one that happens to fit inside this hole perfectly. Just like that, screw it in there. And you can see that it comes out right here at your whistle opening. So what you're gonna do is cut this flat on one end, insert it in the hole, until you see it just protruding right there. And then you're gonna cut the other end off, but not yet. What you're gonna do is slightly mark it right here so you can see where that is, pull it back out, and now chop that off. And what you have is this perfect fitting plug that can go back in this hole and seal that off. But of course, that's not how you're gonna leave it because then why would you put a hole here to begin with? So what you're gonna do is modify this by cutting it on an angle. Now notice this angle right here that you made. Now if you were to stick this in there, you would see that this is at the most maybe one third of the distance deep into this plug. If you can imagine this line continuing through this piece of carrot with the plug in it, it would be taking off just the top maybe quarter to third of this piece all the way down to maybe the bottom third or quarter. So that's the angle in which you wanna cut this plug. Just like that. Now take this plug and reinsert it back inside this hole until it's nice and snug. So as you can see, that plug just meets up to the depth of where you cut that opening on one end. If I turn it around, it's down here at the base. If I was to turn it sideways, imagine this line going all the way through on an angle through that plug. And now listen to how cool that sounds already. How rad is that, you guys? So now the best part, all we're gonna do is drill some holes across the carrot, maybe every inch or two, that's it. So the main hole in the center of the carrot was with a bit that was about half the thickness of the carrot. Now we're gonna be drilling holes for your fingers for the flute. That bit is gonna be about half the distance of the original bit. So it's just a simple proportional thing. It's not exact, you can do an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch, it doesn't really matter. Even the spacing is not crucial, but if you play a lot with these, you can actually space them out to get the notes to be dead on. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put a hole here, 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 and here, just for fun to show you how easy it is to make this even on the fly with almost no preparation. Hole number one. So you get the general idea. This is a pretty skinny carrot. You could do a fatter carrot and drill your hole a lot deeper so you have many finger holes. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a slide whistle doing the same setup right here, except no holes, but an actual slide whistle. This is so cool, you guys. Let's do it. While you're here, make sure you're a subscriber. All right, guys, for the slide whistle, you're gonna drill through the center of the carrot all the way through, flip it around and go from the other direction. You're gonna have a, a hole going through the entire carrot.
All right, guys, just like before, you're gonna fashion your little whistle opening. So you're gonna cut down in here just like before, about a half of an inch to an inch in, straight down until your blade is seen through this hole, so about a third of the way in. And then you're gonna go in on an angle, go boom, and cut that little triangular piece out. Let's do that now. Inside, I see the blade just poking through. That's all I want, like an eighth of an inch or so. Bring that out, come back, and then you have to kind of guesstimate. You're gonna go in on an angle and meet up that same spot. So here we go. Wish me luck. And I would start off doing less, and you can always cut deeper. Not too bad. So I have just this tiny little opening right there. That might work. I'm afraid to cut too much deeper right now. Let's try it with the tiniest opening. I might shave off a little more in just a moment. Now we're gonna do the plug, again with that same line going across. Let's get a small baby carrot that can fit in here. I'm gonna cut off the end of the baby carrot so it's nice and flat. Stick it in there nice and tight go and then determine where that is by just giving it a little bit of a mark just like that so when you pull that back out you can see where you need to cut that off there it is so this is your plug that's going to go back inside that hole but first you need to cut it off on an angle and I would recommend wearing safety gloves I'm a magician so you know I've got these great skills there it is once you have your little wedge cut Stick it back in and you'll notice that the angle is about the same as this line right here. Stick the big end in first, push it all the way in until it meets up to the very edge of this opening and here. That's it, very simple, and now let's hear it. Perfect, not too high pitched, but that will be determined by how deep you make this. If you make this opening too deep, it'll be a nice dull sound, but if it gets too deep, you won't have any sound. You'll just have air blowing through. So you can play with that on your own. This is just the gist. Now that you have your main whistle done and you have this long hole going all the way through, now you're gonna make your slide, which will change the frequency as you move it. So how do you do that? You use another carrot, and this is gonna take a little bit of crafting on your end. What you're gonna do is carve this whole thing up to about here because it's too skinny at the top anyways from about right here all the way down you're going to make that thickness in this case it's a half of an inch you're going to make it round and then at the bottom leave a nice little ledge that you can grab onto so you can leave the entire carrot if you want or fashion a nice little cool shaped handle a little triangle a square whatever you want it doesn't really matter you can even put a little finger hole in it if your carrot's fat enough to begin with doesn't really matter. Let me show you the gist of that now. So I know it's a half of an inch. So what I'm gonna do is leave a nice chunk at the end of the carrot. First of all, I'm gonna cut that nice and straight, get rid of that. And then from about here up, I'm gonna carve all that away. I might as well get rid of this last little piece here as well. And then let's carve around this carrot, hopefully cutting this down to about a half of an inch. So this is just gonna take a few minutes and I'm just gonna start off by doing this very rudimentary, just getting rid of some extra meat here to start with. And once I have my general thickness, I can get a lot more detailed. It's better to go less to begin with. You can always cut more. Don't ever cut toward yourself. So here's the distance of your carrot and your whistle. So you know you're not gonna go any further than that. So I'm gonna cut that little bit off. That's about as deep as you need. And I just gotta shave this all down to be a half inch. So once your slider can slide into it, now you can pull it in and out as you blow and make different frequencies. How cool is that? I'm gonna cut this just a little bit deeper to open up that mouthpiece, just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> Look at the difference already. Let's go even deeper. Now the hole's really big, I might have to lower the angle of my plug. <laughs> now this was a first try, straight through. Here's my mess, and that's how easy it is, you guys. This is a slide whistle. There's your component right there. You got a hole all the way through. You plug it with that thing cut on an angle and you got yourself this awesome little toy. Something great to do with kids. How cool is that, you guys? If you wanna see more hacks, more tricks, more pranks, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you all next week. Peace.